Bart Millard, a 10-year-old child from Greenville, Texas, first appears in the movie. Bart's drunken father, Arthur, constantly yells at and disparages both Bart and his mother. Bart makes stuff out of scraps and wears headphones to listen to music constantly. When his father becomes irate with him, he dumps all of his miniature sculptures into a fire pit. Before putting him off for a week-long Christian camp, Bart's mother sobs, you know I love you right. In agreement, Bart enters the camp. As he enters, he runs with Shannon, another young camper, who quickly becomes Bart's friend after teaching him the ropes. Bart accidentally knocks over Shannon's journal during camp, revealing a drawing that reads, Shannon loves Bart Millard, which causes him to blush. The following night, while watching fireworks, Shannon confronts him about the notebook and says that perhaps one day, they'll fall in love. When little Bart learns that his mother is moving away when he returns from camp with a moving truck in front of the house, his dad was sitting on a chair when Bart starts to lash out at his dad and said that his father was the reason mom left. Out of rage, Bart tries to hit his dad and being an angry man, his father puts him down on the floor. He chases the vehicle down the road while yelling at her not to go. A few years later, Bart J. Michael Finley in his teenage years is in high school and dating Shannon. Like his father, Bart plays football. Bart is injured during practice and is transported to the hospital, where his father tells him that the doctor indicated he will never be able to play again. Bart is cast as the lead in Oklahoma without his consent shortly after the accident when the music director hears him singing at school. She is captivated by his performance. She persuades Bart even though he says he won't do it. He assumes the role and astounds everyone with his singing. The following morning, while Bart's father is in a diner, he comes across a flyer for the show in which Bart is mentioned as the star. Suddenly, he collapses in his chair in apparent pain, it is unclear if this is due to a heart attack or something else. He was told he had low blood sugar and a mass in his body when he got to the hospital. He doesn't appear to want treatment, and soon we learn that he has pancreatic cancer. Bart remains quite distant throughout this section of the movie, and Shannon keeps pushing him to open up and explain why his grief over his father's passing is so great. She is heartbroken when he rejects and even tells her that he doesn't love her. After graduating from high school a few months later, Bart quickly flees Texas with his guitar to pursue a career in music. He finally settles in Oklahoma City, where he encounters a band that will go on to form Mercy Me. They are touring and performing at Christian camps and other venues when they are seen by producer Scott Brickell, who works with the band. Scott informs Bart that he needs to be more genuine, to which Bart reacts defensively but attempts to improve. During this period, Bart tries to get in touch with Shannon again, but she rejects him. Scott arranges for Mercy Me to perform at an Asheville showcase for several record industry professionals and introduces him to Christian music icons Amy Grant and Michael W. Smith. Before being taken away, Bart chatters non-stop because he is so anxious. Mercy Me performs well, and afterward, the band members wait backstage for Scott to return and explain what the record company official said. Bart can't wait, so he meets them all outside, and they all tell him he isn't good enough or ready. The news upsets Bart, who leaves. Despite Scott's efforts to talk him out of it, Bart believes he must go home and make amends before rejoining the band. When Bart gets home, he discovers that his father has been studying the Bible and trying to improve as a man. After all the physical abuse, Bart is unsure of whether to believe his father's new persona. However, as his father nears death, they grow closer after Bart learns of his condition and that he is striving to live a good Christian life. Bart's father dies a few more months later. Bart returns to the outside to join Mercy Me after the burial. On every page of his journal, he has scribbled the phrase I can only imagine after being inspired while on the tour bus. He then begins writing the words for the song I can only imagine after saying OK, Jesus. He performs the song for Amy Grant, who loves it and wants to launch it on her upcoming tour and record, and sends it to Scott, who freaks out about it. Bart claims that Amy will ensure that the music is heard by as many people as possible. 
Amy is too moved by the song's sentiment to sing it at the concert where she's about to perform it for the first time, so she asks Bart to take the stage instead. The crowd goes wild for the song as he continues to perform it with Shannon among them. He imagines his dad being the only one in the auditorium to applaud him once he finishes singing. After the song, he sprints up the aisles to give Shannon a bare embrace and declare his love for her. In the postscript, it is revealed that Mercy Me, one of the most well-known Christian bands of all time, has had 21 successful songs since the song's triple platinum certification.